Hey guys, Deborah with Pinching Pesos here, and it's time for They Paid What? Sales Update Time. Uh, last week was my big auction end. Uh, I didn't do a sales video uh, last week because the week prior, 100, well, 95% of my store was on auction. I uh, was doing a liquidation experiment, and I put the majority of my items, I think there was only 20 some odd things that didn't end up going into auction. I had 200 and I believe 63 or 68, I can't remember, um, auctions running that I started at 995 plus shipping. There were some items that I was not really worried that they were going to sell for 995 because I don't generally pay more than $10 for anything. Um, Normally, my average price is about four bucks. You would think, like, average, you know, it's about four dollars, five dollars is kind of my five dollars is about my median. Um, so I wasn't really worried about losing any money at all. Um, but there was some things that I was like, you know, I'd really like to see those go for closer to the price uh, that I was looking for on uh, best offer. I mean, on a buy it now. But, um, you know, the whole point was to get some movement. It wasn't about, you know, making a crap ton of money. It was about, you know, movement and getting some action going in the store. And, you know, I think it worked. I sold 26 things. Um, and at least, I know I got asked specifically, and I, but I don't remember the answer. It was either 12 or 14 of them went for more than the asking price. Um, that's why, you know, you've heard me talk about before, when um, when I'm looking up prices and I'm doing cost comparisons and I'm trying to base, you know, what I'm going to price my item at, I usually totally ignore auctions. Um, I ignore what the people got, you know, for that auction price. It doesn't mean anything because generally auctions are not going to get close to to what the value of that item is, unless you have something really high demand. Um, I really just think auctions are um, putting you at, at, a, at a pricing disadvantage because to me, the only time I even bid on an auction is when I think I'm gonna get something super cheap. Otherwise, I'm just gonna buy it because I want it like right now. Um, so the only auctions I do are to get a deal. And I think that's the way that people look at auctions, is they're doing it to get a deal. And once the price starts creeping up, it's really just not, it's not even worth waiting the seven days for, you know? Like, I want it right now. If I'm going to pay close to full price, I'd like to have it, you know, within the next couple of days. I don't want to wait seven days for an auction to end and then for you to ship it, and then I'm going to get it. And we're in a two-week process here. That's just too long. So, uh, anyway... Let's just go ahead and get started. I had a total sale price of $441.84 last week. Um, all of my auctions ended on Tuesday the 6th of October. Um, total sell, total price, including shipping, was $723. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run through them, and I'll actually give you the, um, the profits that came out of that. It was a total of 29 sales. There was more sales, uh, but there was some non-paying. I think there was three people that didn't pay yet. So, and one canceled because he couldn't pay. He said something about payment, whatever. Anyway, so it was a total of 29 actual completed transactions. The profit on those was $280 when it was all said and done. Fees, shipping, everything, cost of goods, 280 uh, was the profit that came out of it. So let's go ahead and look at what I sewed. Oh, I forgot to go back and refresh all these. Sorry about that. Okay, so I had bought a Venture Heat Wrap. Um, it's basically a heating wrap that goes around your, your, your uh, waist, and it has a battery and a charger. Well, the battery didn't end up working, so I sold the wrap all by itself, about a month or so ago for, I believe it was a pretty good amount of money, like 30 bucks, I think. Um, and then I sold the wall adapter. It went on auction, $9.95 plus shipping. I had paid $9.95 for the whole thing. So this basically paid for <laughs> the item that I bought that I couldn't return that the battery didn't work on. Uh, next up was these beaver 
for slippers. And the guy already left me feedback. He was really happy with it because on the actual slippers, the left sole was all bent in. Like you can see, like I'm pointing at it, like you can see it. I always do that. You can see like how it's like, um, I'll do what I want you to do. Um, how it's kind of like messed up right here. See how it's like bent over? Anyway, he left me feedback saying that they fit perfectly and all he had to do was pop it back in. I had these listed for a really long time for quite a bit of money. I think it was like 69 bucks because they're pretty rare. They're vintage. They might have done better on Etsy. Um, but they went on auction and he's happy and they're gone. And I don't think I made any money on those. Maybe a couple bucks because I think I paid $6.99 for them. Um, my mirror. This was one that I was really hoping was going to sell for more. If you look these up on Amazon, they go for several hundred dollars. There are a couple listed on eBay that are several hundred dollars. There's some that are listed for a lot less. I never really could get a definite answer as to why they're 600 bucks on Amazon. Um, unless it was just like, you know, how sometimes I do, I just make up a price. I'm like, boom, 250 bucks, you know, <laughs> like... You just create a value for something. I never could figure out what the price should be for this item. It was priced in my store for $299 for about a month. And um, it had some watchers on it, but, you know, no real action, no best offers or anything. So it went on auction. It got 12 bids, and it went for 21 bucks. I only paid $4.99 for it. Um... So it was still a good deal, you know, it was still great, you know, for mirror, whatever. I, I don't know if it really had that value um, or not. I mean, it just seemed like a normal mirror to me. I didn't think that I, you know, it helped me do my makeup any better. Not that I need it. I wake up like this. Anyway, <laughs> I probably did. Um, I had these Johnson & Murphy's for a really long time, and I couldn't figure out why they weren't selling. I must have something wrong. Like, you know you have an item that it should sell, other people sell it, but yours isn't selling, and you kind of get the idea that you've got something wrong going on, like, and you don't know what. So these I've had for a really long time. Like, I don't even use this color background anymore. And they're in really good condition. The bottoms were amazing. I mean, look at those. I mean, they were like new. Um, nothing. Not even like an offer. Nothing. And I didn't even have them priced that high. I had them priced up a little bit when I first listed them. Like, I think I had them 49 bucks. They got down to $39. They went on sale for, gosh, they could have been purchased by it now for, I think, 15 bucks when they were on sale. Nothing. I don't know what I did wrong with them, but they sold $9.95. I paid $6.99 for them, so done and done. This is another one of the items that I wish would have gone for more money, but the lady that got it, I'm really glad she got it. Um, she really wanted it. She was an elderly lady. Um, she, it was her purchase that she did on her own without help from her daughter. She was really concerned about whether or not her payment went through properly and um, that she wanted to make sure, and if she needed her daughter to come and help her, she would, and, but that she really wanted it, and I told her, I was like, no, you did amazing, the transaction went through flawlessly, and your, um, your item is, you know, going to be delivered in, like, two days, you know, at the point that she had contacted me, it had already been shipped out, so originally, I had this priced at $9.99, it did go on sale at one point for $69, um, and you can see it went for 28 bucks. I paid 4.99 for it, so no love lost. But normally I do get more uh closer to the $60 range all the way up into the hundreds on these. I say it wrong. It's supposed to be people correct me all the time because apparently they're it matters to them and I don't want to hurt their feelings. So, I think it's pizza Somebody else will correct me again. It's a peasel maker, y'all. And you're going to go make some cookies with them. That's what you're going to do. Make cookies. Anyway. All right. So, yeah. So, these these are always, I mean, they've been a bolo. Uh, if you see them, they look a lot like 
uh, those sandwich makers, the snack makers, but they make beautiful, they have beautiful designs inside and people love them. So always get them. They're like a guaranteed sell. Uh, next up were these little sticks. I had bought my daughter this Discovery Kids fort. And I was like, oh, it's going to be awesome. And she's going to build the thing. And then you just throw it over like it's the structure. But it was missing some of the pieces. And so it didn't have enough to actually build anything functional. So I actually parted it all out. I sold the little ball connectors that connect the rods. I sold those. Those are long gone. I've already had previously sold a set of these rods. And then another set of rods went on auction for $9.95. I had paid $6.99 for the original set. and I've long since got my money back. Um, I've probably profited right about $15, 15, 20 bucks. So, uh, then I sold these pieces for the Star Wars Monopoly game. Um, originally I had these priced at $24.95. The guy got them for $9.95. He left me a feedback may the force be with you all received very nice recommended seller so he was happy with his item uh next up oh and i paid 2.99 for that game and i i parted that game out because it was the box was in like really bad condition it just wasn't worth it if you look at them whole they're just not selling for that much so you get much more money just selling the pieces on that one uh, I bought this for $6.99. It was complete in the box, and um, normally I part them out. I have parted out many, many of these units, uh, selling the dies individually, um, sell, you know, just all of the pieces in there. I know these lids get broken, and if the lid is broken, the machine will not turn on. So the lid alone you can sell because the machine will not function at all without that lid because there's like a safety mechanism in there and it has to snap in and once it snaps in then you can turn the machine on if it doesn't snap in no go so the lid alone you can sell uh but i went ahead and sold this complete because i'm done parting things out even though i bought a train yesterday and it's a really big box and it's just gonna sell better and easier just to sell the little train cars than it is for me to try to sell the whole thing uh, together. So I will be parting out that particular item because there's just more money in it and it's easier to ship. Um, trying to ship something that's big, long, and thin, if you put it in the box, the odds are, you know, the shipping box, the odds are that they're going to put something else on top of it. And I worry that it's going to get crushed inside. And they're plastic train pieces. They're not metal. So I'm going to part it out. But anyway, this sold for $29 plus shipping. It was super duper heavy. I know that people paid a decent amount of money for shipping on that one. Let me see. Where's your at? Where's your at? Right her. $23 is what they paid for shipping. Sucker weighs 18 pounds. So uh, if you ever list one of those and you're going to be listing it as free shipping, Make sure you know how much it costs to ship. That is not a cheap item to ship. It seems practical. It's just on a little box. It fits right in a regular box. And yeah, 23 bucks. So do not just go listing those all willy-nilly. Uh, next up. I sold my pet monster. This was the one that did really well. I was so excited that this auction did so well because I had him listed, I think for $69. He went $49. He went on sale and could have been purchased by it now for less than $30, I know. Um, I, I don't know what sold this guy. Maybe it was the pictures. Um, because at the time that I listed him, they weren't going for that much because he doesn't have his cuffs and his hands and his feet were damaged. But I thought his hands and his feet gave him character. I don't know what just happened right here. eBay's having own issue. There we go. Like if you look at his feet, you can do it, eBay. You can do it. Look, like, come on, give me a break. The metallic had started coming off of his 
I'm gonna chill out. His hands and his feet, and they were actually kind of like almost gummy. Um, but I thought it gave him character. I thought it made him look more like a monster. So anyway, he went for forty-one bucks. I paid four ninety-nine. How much I paid for him? Um, where is he at? Five ninety nine. I paid five ninety nine for him. They paid eighteen sixty one in shipping. Unfortunately, he was long. Even when you crumpled him over in the box, he was still too long. And the dimensions made him go up in price on shipping. He didn't weigh that much. It was probably like four pounds or something like that in the box. But his dimension is what threw the pricing off on that. So when you're doing your shipping, make sure you put in your dimensions. That's how people end up getting really jacked over when they first start out doing eBay. They don't put the dimensions in there and they think they're just going to pay regular shipping costs. And then all of a sudden the shipping cost is doubled or tripled because the thing is 30 inches long. So make sure you do your dimensions. It doesn't take much to just take out your measuring tape. You can always tell if something's more than if something's more than 10 inches, measure it. Just measure it. You'll be doing yourself a favor. Next up. Uh, these ones haven't been paid for yet. Uh, they went for $13.50 which is a pretty general price for them. People charge about 20 bucks, so I didn't really lose out on anything, but they haven't paid yet. And I think I paid $3.99 for those. I finally sold through all my Elsa books. I bought these earlier in the year, last year, earlier in the year, early in the year, I think. Um, and I sold all three of them this week. So yay, they're gone. I paid less than $2 for them. Uh, they were on Walgreens clearance. I'm not sure why this one particular location had them on such deep discount. They were like 90% off. Um, because the other stores still had them full price. I don't know what was up with the one store. Maybe they didn't have enough space or what was going on, but they clearanced them babies out. Um, so this one went for $9.95. I had another two. There's one here, went for $14.95, and then the other one also went for $14.95. Um, and it went, one of them went international. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad, not bad on dopes. Next up, we got to keep rolling because there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so this sold for $9.95. I bought it for $4.99. It actually went to another reseller, and freaking USPS broke it. They broke one of the bottom pieces. I'm not even sure how that was even possible. It's like a solid plastic thing. I don't know how they did it, but they broke it. And it kind of made me sad because it's a super neat thing. It's a picnic. Um, it's a picnic box. And all of the trays have individual food like in their clothes like they they have the lids and everything and you can put everything in there i thought it was awesome i totally would have kept it myself but we don't picnic i mean i'm not i'm not that person but anyway it got broken which kind of pissed me off okay i uh, got these these went on auction for 13.63 i paid 6.99 for them I don't know why that's opening. And let's see. Next, keep going, keep going. Oh, give me a break. Okay. I sold another one of the Target dogs. And then I sold one of them the other day, too. Um, so this one went for $9.95 plus shipping. I had bought them in a bag. I had two bags of them. I paid $4.99 for each bag. And there was like four or five in each bag. So they were like a dollar a piece, I think. This was one of the ones I wish would have sold for more. This kind of makes me sad. Uh, this one went for ten forty-five. dollars um, I had it priced up at like $60 at one point, and it actually sold. 
and then the person didn't pay. I had to open a non-paying because it, they actually made me an offer, and then it they didn't pay. And so it went for ten forty five. I paid four ninety nine for it. Jan Sports normally go for a lot more than that. I've sold them for a lot more than that, so I was really sad to see this one go for so cheap. And this one I paid four ninety nine for. This also went off to another reseller who was buying some of my stuff. And uh, $9.95 plus shipping. And it, it went in the same box as the other thing that got broken. Uh, this one internationally, this was to a um, Black & Decker coffee maker and that I had parted out because it, it didn't work. And so $9.95 plus shipping. I had only paid like $4.99 or $6.99 for the whole coffee maker. And I've already parted out all of the pieces. Um, this was the last that was left of it. And I think this went to Canada. And then here's the little tuck shoes that I bought. I had these priced at $39.95 for a really long time. I had another reseller that wanted them. I'm not sure why she didn't buy them because I really wanted her to have them. But um, they're a little bear shoes. They're super cute. Um, aren't they cute? What's all these ads? Jesus. Yeah really cute and they don't make this um this particular one anymore they do still make the bears and they do still make them with plaid but they don't make like the gray uh blue plaid uh little tuck bear shoes anymore so they went for 11.16 plus shipping i paid 6.99 for them uh, this was one of the items that I had really jacked up in price. Um, I had them priced at $149 because they just don't come around that often. They're pretty rare Ikea glasses. I mean, it was an entire set and they were brand new in the box. Um, I paid $6.99 for them and they went for $36 plus shipping. This I didn't make any money on. I had a Leapster. I had some games for a Leapster that I had lotted up for a really long time. They weren't priced very high, but they just weren't selling. Um, and then I had bought this Leapster as well. Um, and I was like, oh, well, I'll just set them. And it, it came with some games, too. I think it had five games in it. And I was like, well, I'll just make it a lot, and it'll sell for Christmas. But I ended up, you know, putting it in with the auction stuff, and it sold for thirteen fifty. And I ended up paying, like, 11 for everything altogether. So it really wasn't a winner. I wasn't, didn't come out. Then I have these boots that I had already previously sold. Um, they went for, originally they were $99 and they went on best offer for $60, but I had accidentally marked them as a size nine when in fact they were a size six. Um, so she sent them back and returned them. She left me good feedback, but she dinked me as an INET, which I thought was kind of rude, but it was a mistake. It wasn't like, you know. I did it on purpose to deceive someone. So anyway, they went on auction for twelve fifty, and I paid nine ninety nine for them. So that one was one of the ones that I didn't make any money on. I didn't lose any money, but I didn't make any money. I had these things for quite a long time. They were kind of a bad buy. They don't sell for very high. Um, you can see the other ones like they're seventeen ninety nine, fifteen, whatever. They're just not very expensive. Um, I paid $3.99 for them. They sold for $9.95 plus shipping. This little calculator sold for $9.95. Uh, the guy ended up backing out saying that um, he couldn't pay or something like that. So I only paid $1.99 for it. I, I didn't realize it had like a little line, like a pixel error on it. So that's why I have it priced so cheap. Uh, these I paid three fifty for, and they I don't know why they took so long to sell because they're really cute, and I have really good pictures. Like I mean, the pictures are great. I don't know why they took so long to sell. Um, I only paid three fifty for them. They were half price of six ninety nine, um, so they went nine ninety five plus shipping. And I sold the base to this Ronco machine. Why is it still showing? Okay, I was about to say. Um, sold the base to the Ronco machine. It was brand new in the box. I bought it for $9.95. I've been selling the pieces. I sold a set of the two trays and I sold one tray 
and then I sold the base and the base went for full asking price of $24.95 plus shipping so not bad at all And I sold some more tights. Tights are starting to sell. You remember when I bought all of those tights? I think I bought like 25 or 30 pairs. I, I did a, 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 uh, I negotiated the price with the Goodwill lady because they had a whole end cap of them. And I was like, hey, if I buy all these, can I get them for a cheaper price? They were 99 cents a piece. And I think I ended up getting them for about 79 cents a piece. Um... Anyway, they've started to sell, so I'm really excited because I put them on sale before and they weren't selling and it just, they weren't moving, but now they are. So I sold one pair of these for $9.95 plus shipping. And then these sold finally. Um, I think they actually went on best offer. Nope, full price, $19.95 plus shipping. What I did after my auctions were over is I actually went back in and I repriced all of my stuff and I kind of put it at a price that was really my sort of minimum asking price of what I would really like to have. I'm sure in the future I would take less, but it was kind of like the minimum of what I would like to have. And then I just put that price and I didn't do best offer like I normally do. Normally all of my stuff has best offer. I took best offer off of a lot of things and just priced them at a reasonable price and was like, buy it or don't. I sold this bag of Legos, but then the person didn't sell. They only have like two feedback. So I had paid $2.99 for this game. Uh, I mean for this Lego set and it only had the one bag of Legos in it sealed so I'm just selling it as pieces. I had bought a um, a big box of stamps for $3.99 and so this was one of the sets that came out of the box. Went for $9.95 plus shipping. And then there's my my last Elsa. So there was the sales for that week. So uh, like I said, it was seven twenty three seventy. A couple of them didn't pay. Um, total profit on eBay was two hundred and eighty dollars uh, for the month. I'm at three fifty. So a lot of my profit came from last week. Now you can see why I was kind of wanting to move some things because. Things just weren't moving, and so that's why I went ahead and I did the sales, and I did the, um, I did the uh, auctions and all of that stuff, just trying to get things going. And Amazon did really, really well. I've been using that repricer. Did I freeze? Because I'm not moving on my side. I've been using that repricer. Be cool. Uh, B-Q-O-O-L that Mike and Paul had suggested and I really like it. Items have been moving and I can see that they sold at a price that had been repriced. It wasn't the price that I originally had it at but it was repriced to a different price and it sold. So I'm really happy with the way things are going with that. It is $25 a month but the way that my sales are going totally worth it. So last week I had $435 in sales on Amazon um, you can see it was actually toys. I don't have a lot of toys. What the toys are are actually games and puzzles. So those sold and some DVDs and some different kind of, uh, different kinds of things. So yay, go Amazon. So anyway, those are my sales for last week. Um, I don't know how to get a profit breakdown for you. I should be able to on Inventory Lab, um, but I don't know how. So what I can do is I could kind of give you a, um, I could give you October, which my profit for October, oh, here it is right here. My profit is $142 on $274 in sales. Um, for this time frame, and then 154 and 279. So essentially, I could just add that up for you. I know there's a better way to do it, but I don't, I don't know how. Just yet. 
and I haven't taken the time to learn. So we're at total for the month $362 of profit on Amazon and total for the month on eBay we're at $350, $29, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,